Yeah. Right now on Punchline, two teams of comedians use today's headlines to come up with the best punchlines. Starring Melissa Peterman. With our guests, Oscar Nunez. Earthquake. Esther Koo and Ryan Stout. And now here's your host, Melissa Peterman. play this game? Thanks for asking. I'm going to give these two teams a headline, and they come up with the punchlines. Then the audience decides which team is funniest, since science hasn't figured out how to do that yet. <laughs> the winning team at the end of the show gets $1,000 for the Donors Choose classroom of their choice. <laughs> it's comedy for the kids. Really, it's comedy for the kids. Are you guys ready to get started? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Let's go. Well, hello, Oscar. Hi. How are you, sir? I'm good. You both look very dapper tonight. I, would I know. Just like We're to say doing that. it, ain't we, man? Get yeah. yeah. women all on us. I'm just glad there is a structure between you it. and me because it's a very handsome team. Yes. Um, I mean, Oscar, you could ask this a lot, but I'm going to ask it because I just want to. Um, do you have? 32 years old. I'm yes. 32. <laughs> Oh, there we go. There we go. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, that was it. I was going to ask you how old you were. I have to say, I, I keep forgetting to say I'm on a show called Mystery Glasses on Netflix. Well, just say it. I keep forgetting. And also, I think I want to be called Aftershock because I'm with Earthquake. Oh, oh. Earthquake is in the house. And Earthquake, Aftershock. Okay, so Earthquake, if I was going to have a nickname um, from a natural disaster, what would my nickname be? Mudslide. Oh. <laughs> Guess what? Yeah. There's been a lot of rain lately, and the trees, they've cut them down. So right now, there's going to be a mudslide. mudslide. <laughs> I love that. Each headline is worth 10 points. You guys ready for your first one? Here we go. A Florida police officer has been suspended for allegedly playing the radio and letting a couple smoke and make out in the back of his patrol car. <laughs> Comedians, what was the song playing on the radio? <laughs> Aftershock. Um... <laughs> uh... Sex machine, but that's not important. That's the song. Oh. But <laughs> it, 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 the, the couple was his parents. Oh. And it was their anniversary because he was conceived in the back of a police. So it was a, it was a family thing. So it's actually a sweet story. It's a sweet story. It's a very tender story. But the song was. Sex machine. Sex machine. Okay. Uh, Earthquake, what was the song playing on the radio? Don't stop. Get it. Get it. The policeman! The policeman! The policeman! Don't stop! Get it, get it! Get it, get it! Policeman! 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 <laughs> Mudslide likey. <laughs> All right. Ryan and Koo, you heard about that police officer. Mm -hmm. What was the song playing on the radio? Well, I imagine that he's still in the car, mm -hmm. <laughs> in the front seat, looking in the rear view mirror, and just a single tear is rolling down while he plays R.E.M.'s Everybody Hurts. <laughs> painted a picture there. Yeah, yeah. It's a police officer just watching. I have to be poetic, because I can't sing like Earthquake. OK. Yeah. All right, I like it, though. <laughs> Koo, what was the song playing on the radio? Well, it was probably something like, I'll have fun, 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 till my sergeant takes my patrol car away. That's true. Nice. Consequences. Consequences. Nice. 
Nice. Earthquake and Oscar, do I dare ask for a final punchline? Oh, no. Me, you, you and, and the police. police. <laughs> what we gonna do, baby? <laughs> I don't wanna let you go. No. You, me, and the police. What we gonna do, baby? I'm just following him, his choreography. Oh, and no. his... Uh -huh. This game could go on all day yeah. for me. I like it. If it goes on long enough, they'll make out. They might. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, final punchline. You know what? The song, I think it's... Uh, um, uh, how does that one go? It's the... Uh, why am I blanking? <laughs> Can you ask again? Yeah. Um, what was the song playing on the radio? Oh, it's uh, every move you make. Every breath you take, be watching you. Yes. And you know who it's by? The, the police. police. Yeah. Audience, who was funnier? Was it Earthquake and Oscar or Ryan and Koo? I mean, huh? It was pretty. I liked all of it. I have to. I mean, you know, Earthquake and Oscar. Ten. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, you, but by the way, this is like the best looking team we've had. Like a yeah. suit, a gown, uh -huh. like mm -hmm. it's like the, the royal couple of comedy yeah. right here. Uh, Ryan, I heard you're getting married soon. I am getting married. She let me out of the house. And uh, um, yeah, I think we should get points just for looking like a better couple than they look like. Oh, wow. <laughs> but then they clearly had chemistry. So well, it's up to the audience. So we can watch as it goes and we'll see how this turns out here. Um, you, you, and you wear a suit all the time, right? Uh, no, no, no. Okay, all right. <laughs> um, Koo, where can we find you? Where can people go see you on tour? You're I'm so funny. I'm going to Hawaii for the first time. Wow. Really? Yeah. Nice. That's amazing. That's and people, people always think I'm Hawaiian. Uh-huh. And they're just being racist, but I'm <laughs> performing there, so go to my website, estherkoo.com. Okay, all right. That's Woo. cool. <laughs> All right. I'm performing in Alabama. In Alabama. So, yes, so that's not as quite. That's the Hawaii exotic. of the South. <laughs> the Hawaii of the South. Are you guys ready for your second headline? Yes. Here we go. A 14 year old was flying United to Sweden to see his grandparents, but ended up in Germany after being put on the wrong plane. Oh, comedians, where has United sent other travelers by mistake? Ryan? Um, this is a true story. I was in Scotland flying United uh -huh. to try to get back to LA. And they called me, they said, sorry, your flight's canceled. We can't send you to London. And I said, I don't, I don't need to go to London. <laughs> you, could, you could send me anywhere as long as I get to LA. And they actually said, you mean to tell us you'll go anywhere as long as you get to your final destination? <laughs> and I said, yes, that's how travels always works. <laughs> good, good for you, Ryan. That was the longest punchline, but the best story ever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it's loose here. It's loose. It's loose here. That's how travel does work. Um, Koo, where has United sent other travelers by mistake? Well, you know what? I flew United once. I was supposed to go to Sacramento, and they sent me to your mom's house. Ooh. Boom! <laughs> Bam! It's got Boom! <laughs> Bam! I like that, Koo. I liked it. I like that, Koo. I like that. Um, Oscar, where has United sent other travelers by mistake? Oh. My, my sister lives in Naples, Florida. True. I went to visit her. Uh, they sent me to Naples, Italy. Oh, nice. I was born in Cuba. I ran into a Puerto Rican family, close enough, hung out with them. <laughs> had wonderful Italian food, had a great time, went back home. I had a better time. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like this, this question's getting a lot of stories. I like it. <laughs> Um, Earthquake, where has United sent other travelers by mistake? Well, you know, um, I went down to Miami. We call it the bottom for vacation. Mm -hmm. And they sent me to Mississippi. Ooh. Oh, that's different. Black people don't go to Mississippi on vacation. True. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Ryan and Koo, final punchline. Where has United sent other travelers by mistake? Um, I wanted to go to Newark. They sent me to Newark, but they sent my bags to Chicago. And then my bags, I think, had a better time. <laughs> Earthquake and Oscar, final punchline. Um, they sent my ex-wife to the DR. Oh. <laughs> yeah. What? 
Dominican Republic? Yeah! I bought four more tickets. <laughs> OK, audience, time to vote. It was a lot of true stories. They got a lot off their chest about their flying experience. But who was funnier? Earthquake, Oscar, Ryan Koo? Hmm? Huh? Huh? Earthquake and Oscar, you got it! That means we are at 20 to zero. But don't you go anywhere when we come back, there's lots more fun. Earthquake, Oscar, sing us out of this! Yeah! Oh! The, the police! The police! The police! Police! You! Me! And police! to zero, but anything can happen, anything can happen. Here at Punchline, we love to laugh, we love teachers, and we really love DonorsChoose.org. That is the website that lets people donate to a teacher's wishlist. Thank you, teachers. Earthquake and Oscar, if you guys do win today, what classroom are you donating to? We're not getting any of... No, no money for it you, goes nothing. <laughs> We're playing for Mrs. Brin's class in Chesapeake, Virginia. Yes. Hi, Miss Brin. And when we win, not if we win, nice. they get iPads and green screen for the arts class. Yay! Wow. Arts education matters. Uh, Ryan and Koo, if you guys win today, what classroom are you donating to? Uh, we're donating to Miss Falk in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. And if we win... They're gonna get Kindle tablets to teach them sign language. Yay! Amazing! Oh. I love all of those. All right, are you guys ready for your set or your next headline? Not sure. second. I don't know where I am. Here we are. <laughs> Kids looking at college, listen up. Studyinternational.com found that school Doritos. Wait, school, school models. Doritos. <laughs> school <laughs> models can actually test, can actually tell you a lot about the school. Comedians, give us the motto of the college you went to. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dorito College flavor, it's in there. I'd go to that. Uh, I would go to that school and I would major in Cool Ranch. Uh, Ryan, okay, so yeah, international.com found that school models can actually tell you a lot about the school. Give me the motto of the college you went to. Um, I went to a liberal. I went to a liberal arts school uh -huh. where the motto was "Pay to learn what you don't need to know." Nice. <laughs> cool. Give us the motto of the college you went to. I went to U of I Champaign Urbana, and it was learning and labor. Uh -huh. So that's where MTV cast Teen Moms. Uh huh. Nice. <laughs> Oscar, give us the motto of the college you went to. I went to a two-year uh, school uh, um, uh, in New York City called Magna Institute of Dental Technology, mm -hmm. and it's <laughs> and their motto was uh, building a better dental bridge to the future. Oh, so bridge. Dentists are hilarious. Earthquake, give us the motto of the college you went to. Well, I didn't go to college, and I feel real bad. But now that I look at all these people that did, I don't have no student loans, so they are real bad. Nice, <laughs> so no student win. loans. <laughs> Ryan and Koo, final punchline. Um, it's, sometimes it's in Latin, so the one I remember was et dolor aeculat, which I think means beer in a shot, beer in a shot. Nice. <laughs> I believe you, because you're wearing a suit. Oscar and uh, Earthquake, what, give us a final punchline. I, ju I just remembered I, I took a course at Trump University, and <laughs> I did, and the motto there is, we'll go bankrupt before you can sue us. Nice. <laughs> All right, audience, who is funnier? Line two, Earthquake or Oscar? Come on. Good stuff. That's so funny. <laughs> Ooh, they're thinking, they're voting. Oh. Guess what? Ryan and Koo took us here on the board. Yeah. And we nice. got 20 to 10. Do nice. not go anywhere when we come back. There is more left. Give yourself a full run. I blew my line with the student line. That one was high. You, you, you have. So, welcome back to Punchline. The score is 20 to 10. 
speed round, and I'm going to give a headline, and each team has to cut 30 seconds to come up with their punchlines. When time is up, the audience scores on a scale of one to 100. <laughs> Ryan and Koo, you guys are just a tiny bit behind, so I'm gonna give you more time to think, and I'm gonna start with Earthquake and Aftershock. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> are you ready for this headline? Here we go. There is a new report that firefighters have the highest level of job satisfaction, even though their average salary is under $50,000. Oh, I buy so many calendars. Comedians, <laughs> why are firefighters so satisfied? Let's put 30 seconds on the clock and go. Because they get to pole dance for each other. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're a firefighter. How much do you work? It's 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 perks. It's all about the perks. You get to drive around in a big red truck with all your friends. Yes. I ain't a fire. You ain't put a fire out in ten years. When you go to a restaurant, people pick up your bill. You get to work on your checker game. You get to wear red suspenders. You ride on the back of the truck looking for a fire. You get to have a Dalmatian as a pet. You put out just one rose. That's all you did for four years. Can we talk checkers? You're, you're practicing checkers every day. I, you ain't had a fire since you goes. All right, time is up. I didn't hear a thing. All right, audience, how did they do? 80 points. Nicely done. All right, Ryan and Koo, it is your turn. Let's put That's 30 fine. seconds on the clock. Thank you, Mudslide. Uh -huh. Why are firefighters so satisfied? Go. It's the only job where you get to slide down a pole with your clothes on. I don't know, but I'd like to find out. So if you're a hot firefighter, come put out my fire. Oh. You can spray your hose at her. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm sure they're satisfied just because of all the smoke inhalation. Mm -hmm. I don't focus on the satisfied ones. I, sa I focus on the unsatisfied oh, ones. Yes, yeah, she does. She does. I mean, she's fire engine red today. Mm -hmm. uh... <laughs> all right. Time is oh. up. So that brings you to 80, 100 to 80. Okay. We still got ourselves a game coming up in the final finish. One of these teams is going to win for the classroom that they chose. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, everyone. The score is 20 or 80. No, 100 to 80. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. It is time to play photo finish. Yeah. Show you and our fabulous comedians will, pro will provide the punchlines. Our audience will score each team's punchlines on a scale from one to 100. And the team with the most total points wins it all for their classroom, all right? All right. <laughs> Ryan and Koo, you are behind, so okay. we're gonna start with you. Let us right. put 60 seconds on the clock. I like, I don't know where that is. <laughs> Here is your first photo, and go. Um. Peak millennial fashion. Oh. <laughs> I must ask, I must ask you a question. Do you own a mirror? I liked it. Good work play, good work play. Good work play, audience. Good work play. 70, next photo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why, yes, it used to be my service animal. I recognize her. That's Sally Hawkins from Shape of Water. She can't get over her ex-boyfriend. <laughs> Take away my teething ring, I'll show you how it feels. Stop stealing mommy's milk. <laughs> 80. <laughs> Next photo. Oh. We wanted to go to the beach, but we flew here on United. Call back. Call back. Call back. Um, oh, time is up. Oh. Audience, Woo. what'd you give them? Oh. 90! Damn! Wow, that great! Yeah. Your turn, too! Yeah. 390 votes! Yeah. That might have done it. Wow! Nice callback, Ryan. Callback, always well, we gets a point. Call back. All right, you. let's put 60 seconds on the clock. Here is your first photo. <laughs> Go! Oh, that's a new fad. Those are HHMs. They're helmet-holding models. <laughs> the Quickets! Quickens! Audience, how much? One through 170. Next photo. 
Oh. This is what you got to do when you get on the phone without your woman catching you texting another person. Oscar? <laughs> this doesn't look like Leonardo DiCaprio at all. At all. <laughs> I was... Audience? <laughs> 70, next photo. How? Uh, that's me at the airport incognito. <laughs> I don't yeah, my daughter thinks every day is Halloween, but she's still getting straight A's. Audience? 80, next photo. Oh, this isn't funny. We had a nuclear power plant accident near Bakersfield. These are the only survivors. How did you get my grandmother's teeth? <laughs> Audience? You guys did very good, but they did very good too. It was it enough to beat 390. Let's see right now who's taking home the punchline trophy. We don't have a trophy. Here we are. when I thought I could possibly be in the musical Chicago. Oh! Um, I'll sign Can you that. sign it for us to... Uh, yeah, no, I'm not gonna <laughs> sign it. I won't sign it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Do not forget to join...